Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video is all about the tragic deaths of several actors during a scene. Um, the actors were, of course, Vic Morrow, who will be uh, the main person that we'll be discussing today and showing you his grave. Um, but two child actors were in the scene as well and they were killed alongside Vic. So we're gonna get into the entire story and of course show you Vic's grave. So Vic Morrow was born Victor Morozov. Um, he was born on February 14th, 1929, and he again died July 23rd, 1982. Uh, he was 53 years old at the time of his death. But growing up, Vic uh, was born in New York City to a Jewish family. He dropped out of school uh, at the age of 17 to pursue joining the Navy. And in 1958, he ended up marrying a lady named Barbara Turner, and they ended up having two kids together. They divorced in 1964, and then in 1975, he married a lady named Gail Lester. And uh, one article states that they divorced in 1979. Another article states that they were basically separated. So again, I'm not entirely sure about that. Regardless, um, Vic Morrow was a uh, acting phenom. He again had been acting for, you know, basically like nearly three decades or so, give or take, two and a half, three decades. And he was known for uh, many different TV shows he was in, including uh, Hawaii Five O, Bonanza, uh, Mission Impossible, Bad News Bears, Magnum PI, and uh, Fantasy Island. Um, those were just uh, a couple of. The dozens and dozens of different uh, TV shows and movies he was in. On the early morning hours of July 23rd, 1982, Vic Morrow was filming the movie Twilight Zone. Again, he, Twilight Zone used to be a TV show, but they also made a movie, and so he was actually filming the Twilight Zone movie. On that day, he was filming uh, with two child actors. Uh, their names were Micah Ding Lee, who was seven years old, and then six-year-old Renee Shin Yi Chain. And so they were all filming a scene together. Vic Morrow played uh, a guy by the name of Bill Connor. His role was basically uh, about a guy being like a racist. And he was taken back in time where he would basically be like the victim including like a Jewish man in France, black man about to be lynched, and like a Vietnamese man who was about to be killed by like US soldiers. That was kind of his role. And so again, on, on that day, they were all attempting to escape out of like a Vietnamese village from a pursuing helicopter. Um, that was like the particular scene they were filming um, at that time. The helicopter was about 24 feet off the ground or so but apparently heat from like the special effect, like the pyrotechnic explosion, that heat, it caused the rotor blades of the helicopter to like fracture. And so basically pretty much immediately the helicopter just tumbled down to the ground, ending up uh, decapitating Vic Morrow along with uh, one of the child actors, Micah Lee. The other child actor, Renee Chen, uh, Renee was crushed by like the heli uh, skids. So all three died, but Vic Morrow and Micah Lee were killed by the rotors of the helicopter, again being decapitated. A crazy, absolutely terrible accident. This is why most movies nowadays have ridiculous amounts of precautions whenever they do different stunts. Again, I don't know what the precautions were back in 19... 82 when this happened but I know nowadays like 
most actors don't even do their own stunts and they have stunt doubles and they have so many different you know safety nets and precautions and stuff like that again uh it was just a terrible terrible accident but i think potentially of you know avoidable if whoever set up the pyrotechnic explosions you know figured out like hey maybe this shouldn't be so close to where the helicopter is <laughs> Anyway, so if you're ever here in Los Angeles and you want to check out Vic Morrow's grave, it's here at the Hillside Memorial Park Cemetery. Um, it sucks that he and the two kids had to die in order for them to bring some more safety into movies and TV show sets. Um, but I, I guess that's just the way it, the way it went. Um, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, my name's Harmon. Have a good one. See you on the next one.